Back in this country, nine members of an ultra-Orthodox Jewish sect are back in Canada after fleeing the country. They left last week amid child custody proceedings, but were stopped in Trinidad and Tobago. John Northcott's on that story and joins us now with more. So, John, just talk about the group's return to Canada last night. That's right, Nancy. They arrived at Pearson Airport. They were on an aircraft, we understand, with Canadian authorities. Uh, they were here, and you can see one of them being brought in in handcuffs. The adults eventually uh, released, given their passports back, but the six children uh, taken into Chatham-Kent Child Services Care. We understand they were in Trinidad and Tobago. Another area, another group of this uh, sect went on, in fact, to Guatemala, we understand. Uh, no possibility at this point or no uh, word on the possibility of whether they will be returned to this country. But we can tell you this particular group arriving at Pearson met not only by Canadian authorities but also by the CBC's Fifth Estate and Gillian Finley meeting one of them, asking questions. Here's what he said. They dragged us on the floor and dragged us into cars and onto a plane, at a federal a Canadian, a Canadian federal plane. Yes. And there was a federal official there. No explanation, no questions asked. They brought us here to Canada. Uh, just before getting off the plane, we were punched by the security guard, a woman. You were punched by punched, the security yes, guards. Punched. Yes. Now he alleges that it was a private security guard. Needless to say, CBC News is checking all possible sources with the RCMP. Peel Regional Police were there on site, but they were saying that's the local police force simply there to make sure there were no difficulties. And we're not sure whether that alleged incident occurred mm. on the plane itself. Now, it is worth noting that this organization uh, asked to leave. Uh, in fact, they were in Quebec. Uh, Child services there wanted uh, the children to be taken into their care because of allegations of abuse uh, as well as forced marriage. The organization moved to uh, the Windsor area and then child services there decided that it was in the children's best interest to take possession of them. And that is, at that point, they left, they fled to Trinidad and Tobago, now back in this country. Nancy? So, John, now that the group is back in Canada, what happens next? Well, what they're doing is they're appealing the various court orders that have been placed against them putting these children in child service. We understand a variety of court dates, one of which is on April 1st, and they'll hear arguments or at least be there with a lawyer to make those arguments at that time. Nancy? Good to know. Thanks, John. Okay.